So let's go back to our code. So I'm going to open up the actions window here and let's go back to this comment that I put at the top. Now every programming language has a means by which a author or the script writer can basically make comments and these comments are not intended to be executable code. They're notes that the uh, programmer can leave that explain the code, right? So to create a comment in ActionScript, you use a double forward slash and then your comment. So if I put a double forward slash and I say, this is a comment, then this code does not get executed. It's just a note, essentially. So this is different. If I get rid of the two forward slashes, you'll see all of a sudden this word this highlights blue because it's a keyword built into the ActionScript language. And now this is active code and this is a built-in keyword. So I didn't want that. I just wanted forward slash forward slash to create just some text to create a note. So this is a comment, right? And I'm going to do another comment here. This is ActionScript 2.0. And ActionScript is very similar to a, another scripting language called ECMAScript. And ECMAScript is a worldwide standard for server scripting languages. And ECMAScript was based off of JavaScript. So they're all very similar. ECMAScript, JavaScript, ActionScript, all very, very similar. Very similar to C language or Perl or those types of languages. So once again, this is a comment, right? If I hit Control Enter and publish my Flash movie, you can see I just have an empty Flash movie and I don't get any code or any output or anything. This is just text. Another way to put a comment is to, if you want to do a multi-line comment, you do a forward slash and then an asterisk, and then you end it with an asterisk and a forward slash, and then anything between these two on any of these lines is a comment. So this is a multi-line comment, right? So this is a comment and this is a single line comment. So double forward slash for a single line comment and then the forward slash asterisk and asterisk forward slash for a multi-line comment. Okay, so there's comments. Another thing that we're going to need to know before we get started is how to trace output to the output window. And in Flash this is easy. You do a trace command which takes an open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and then whatever you want to trace to the output window you put between the parentheses. So if I want to do let's say a hello world which is your typical thing that you do if you're a programmer the first time you use a language is run a hello world. So we'll say in between quotation marks I'll put hello world and then an exclamation point. I'll get rid of that white space there. And now if I hit control enter, you can see that some code is being highlighted up here. I'll close my flash movie and I'll close the actions window and you can see that there's an output window here up at the top. Underneath the timeline on a tab is the output window and you can see it outputted that text, hello world. Now to make this a little easier for this video, I'm going to take this output panel and I'll detach it and then put it down here at the bottom. Let's see, I'll just put that right down there at the bottom and now it's down here towards the bottom of the window. It'll be easier to see. Okay, so we can trace that. Hello world. So that goes straight into the output window down here at the bottom. Now this trace command, this trace function that's built into ActionScript is very important and we're going to be using it a lot. And the reason we're going to use it a lot is that we can trace anything to the output window. We can trace text, but we can also trace variables, we can trace objects, and we can use this trace in this output window to give us feedback on our code. And I use it mostly for debugging my code. So I use the trace command, or the trace function, as my number one means of debugging uh, my code and checking for problems and making sure that things in my program are working well. So the trace function is very useful. We're going to be using it a lot. All right, so 
We just learned basically about trace. So we'll just put this in here, trace, right? Or we'll make a the trace function. 